nobody had ever dealt with with that. And you know, it's the idea of even losing him. Jennifer Aniston cries over Matthew Perry's addiction in this newly unearthed interview footage. We didn't know. We, you know, we weren't equipped. Matthew sits down with Diane Sawyer for a new interview with Good Morning America to promote his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, and opens up about his struggles with addiction. You know, you get into that, uh, you get into a place in your life where you're having a problem and you either, you know, lie down about it or step up to bat and take your, uh, take your swing, and that's what I did. Revealing Jen played a big part in his road to sobriety. She says, we know you're drinking. Yeah, imagine how scary a moment that was. Um, and I said, how? I thought I was hiding it so well. And she said, we can smell it, we can smell it. And, but I wasn't in a position to stop, you know? And that's what addiction is. But she was the one that reached out the most. You know, I'm really grateful to her for that. Of course, the two starred alongside one another in the hit 90s sitcom Friends. Hey! I'm in college and I'm in a band. Yeah, okay. And in 2004, the year the show ended, Jen got emotional talking about her friend during a sit down with Diane after Matthew's addiction was made public. What doesn't Matthew know? That he's all right. We didn't know. We, you know, we weren't equipped. We weren't um, to, to deal with it. You know, nobody had ever dealt with, with that. And, you know, it's the idea of even losing him. Of course, it's no secret the cast was and is close. When they reunited last year. After the show was over, at a party or any any kind of social gathering, if one of us bumped into each other, that was it. That was the end of the night. You just sat with that sat with the person mm -hmm. all night sure. long. Jen dished on their bond. There was something that was laid down at the very, very beginning that kind of went into our neural pathways that we instantly, it was in our DNA that we were family, we were going to take care of each other. We're the most grateful mm. women that I know who have been able to be a part of something like this. And the experience of being back together had her deep in her feels. It was just a real oh, yeah. And what's her? gates opened then it was I just I couldn't shut it yeah. off. You couldn't even I did plug it. I did no nothing. I still was just like Jen are you crying as much as me? And she's like yeah. <laughs> it was just the most emotional thing. As for Matthew, he's telling all in his new book, confessing he had a crush on Jen back in the day. That's for sure. The actor writes that he was immediately taken by her, but she declined after he asked her out. What am I going to do now? Just pass the tape along. He's not right for the part. So if I suggest to my bosses, they're going to think I'm an idiot. And that's something they should learn on their own. And while the actor says he was still attracted to her, they were able to, quote, sail right past the past and focus on the fact that we had both gotten the best job Hollywood had to offer.